Good morning, happy Sunday. Today is May 15th, so today I just put up our first packing, like behind the scenes vlog of moving to Florida. So that was everything that happened like in, in that month that we couldn't share <laughs> because we wanted to make sure everything was actually happening and in motion. So that feels good that that vlog is now up and I'm going to be posting the next like packing vlogs here in the next like week or so. So sorry that took so long, but there was just a lot going on and I feel like we needed a recovery moment after that whirlwind of packing and whatnot. So finally got a video up, which felt nice. So anyways, so I wanted to film a day in my life because we have now moved in with my mom and we have a few things to update you on. So let's just take you through what a day in our life looks like now that we are homeless. <laughs> um, so we're gonna head to F45 and just enjoy a beautiful Sunday in Hawaii. So let's go work out. At 45 on a Sunday is my favorite because it's a good heavyweight day. We have Tom Sawyer. Oh, <laughs> see what I did there? And Mama Coop. <laughs> All right, let's get this done. <laughs> so we just finished the first class. She's taking a double with me. I am. It was your first double ever, right? Yeah. I just sent my mom and Tom home. Well, I didn't send them home. They were done. They were pooped. <laughs> so we're going to take the second class. Wish us luck. Or wish me luck. He can do it. <laughs> I don't know how, <laughs> but I completed a double today, unlike the same weight that I did the first class, so I'm actually very, very proud of myself. I, I don't know how, but I think it accomplished. Get strong. <laughs> how was your double? Good. Yeah, yeah, really good. Look at my hat. I, I should tell you. I did the, I, I know mine's bad too. I did the same weight in the second class. Good job, baby. I was excited. <laughs> just got home from the gym and Ollie just received a special package, which I'm actually really excited about and I know he will be too, but we actually teamed up with Sundays for this video to spoil our little dog. He just turned 13 and we just like want the best for him. He loves food. Especially as he's going into his little old man stage. So yeah, he loves food. So that being said, let me show you guys what we got here. Mr. Ollie. Oh, yeah, let's move that over here. This my friend is for you. How cute is that? Yeah? Sure. All right, <laughs> so we ordered the Sunday's Food for Dogs and we got the chicken flavor. And my favorite part about this is that it is air dried and it is all human grade ingredients. Like you can actually read these ingredients. For instance, it's chicken, chicken liver, eggs, milk, oat, pumpkin, kale, bone, fish, all these different ingredients that, um, I can actually read. And the cool thing about Sundays, I know he's like shaking. He's, I know, he's all excited. I know, just one second longer, buddy. <laughs> I was able to go onto their site and compare what Ollie's currently eating to this. And after I saw that, I was like, oh my God, bud, I am so sorry. I had no idea that your food had like 21 synthetic ingredients in it. I just went to Petco and got you what I thought was the best. So yeah, all natural, no synthetic additives. Um, zero hassle, no prep, no nothing. It's really cute. It comes in this little cereal box. Hold on, buddy. One more quick second, and then I will let you dive in. So when you open up your package, it has this little transition kit. It helps you transition your dog off of what they're currently eating onto this, yeah. because you have to do it slow so that way it doesn't hurt their stomach, because it is probably more nutrients than what he's getting, and you know you have to be careful when you transition dog's food. So I am going to be following this to transition transition him off of what he's already eating. But just so Mr. Ollie can try this, and no more teasing you, let's give you a little treat. You wanna try it? Yeah, I'm gonna, oh. How is that? Oh my gosh, she's like, yeah, are you about that? Oh, don't do that. There you go, buddy. And that was the one thing that I was reading on their site that really intrigued me is it tastes like a treat. It is treat light. So your dog will definitely, oh my God, are you, yeah. Is that good? 
Should we do it too? I actually didn't. I can't believe uh, you did. <laughs> you did it. It's human grade. <laughs> now, did you really not? No. Oh, well, I did. And it tasted just fine. So, that being said, Sundays was sweet enough and gave you guys a little code. So, feel free to use Angelique30 for 30% off of your first order plus free shipping. Um, so, you might as well spoil your little doggy <gasps> too. Oh my gosh, you okay? He has one tooth and it kind of stabs you. So anyways, I was very excited to open this package. I'm actually surprised Ollie didn't get into it. It's been in that back room for like days and I'm like, <laughs> now that he knows no. it's in there. Now that he knows what this box actually, box actually contains, we're gonna have to keep that in a special spot. But no, I'm, re I'm, really, I'm really excited about this. I was really impressed with their site and their ingredients and what they stand for because Exactly. I know. It's exactly how we want to spoil our dog. So I'm happy we can do it, buddy. Next time we can order beef if you want. If you want to mix it up, you want another treat. We'll be very excited to have this every morning. I'll break it in small too. Oh my gosh. So I think he's a fan. Yeah. Good God. <laughs> right. Almost lost a finger. <laughs> so anyways, I will have that link down below with that code as well as a link where you can actually customize your dog's order and see what they like and what they're interested in. So yeah, that'll all be back. down there for you, but I... That weighs twice as much as you. Yeah. So. This will last us for freaking ever. Ha! Huh. Not if he has any say in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's gotten into many treat bags before, so we'll have to keep that safe. He's shaking. I know, his ears are going. All right, you happy? You like it? Just wants more. Yeah, he's like, this is, oh my gosh, oh, cute. We're filming on a Sunday and it's Sundays. Aww. Oh. I actually did plan that, but that's cute. All right, I'm glad you like it, Pam. All right, where's my treat? You can eat one, I did. No? <laughs> I trust you. <laughs> Ollie will be upset if I eat his food. Oh yeah. All right, buddy, I will put this on the counter. Oh my gosh, he is literally, I gotta show you guys this. Is it up there? Is that what you want? Is that it? Give him one. You protect my hand, okay, Oliver? Open palm. Oh my gosh. Buddy. <laughs> As if two doubles at F45 wasn't enough, we are now walking to the uh, farmer's market at the end of my mom's street to I'm grab hungry. some, yeah, to grab some food and some fresh veggies. <laughs> Holding the motorcycle. Oh, it's hot out. Also. Oh, well, yeah. Update. I yeah. am what almost two months into eating vegan. Oh yeah. And I've only cheated on like maybe five meals. Yeah, it's only been like it's I don't not know. Not so bad. It's more so like a random restaurant when you can't find something, but no, yeah. we've, it's done pretty good. I like it. It actually tastes better. I, I think so. That being said, I know I'm about to be faced with a grilled cheese and <laughs> have a name on it. A breakfast sandwich. All maybe right. It'll be six meals. Maybe. Oh, six meals. What? Oh, cheating. Got it. Okay. Off to the farmer's market. We got the goods. I got some lettuce and greens for a salad today. Got a crepe. Sawyer has a pizza and like fresh juice. Gotta love a good farmer's market. All right, so I told you this is kind of be an update video and it kind of is because we've now been at my mom's for like two-ish weeks and they always say it's, yeah, move in with your mom. Great idea. No, I'm kidding. It's actually been really, really fun. Um, but Ollie is really liking it. He's been on the couch all day. He has a spot right here. This is his pillow that Sawyer's sitting on. I just had to watch Sweet Home Alabama. He had to watch Sweet Home Alabama. Yeah. <laughs> and what else? What else, Mom? What else is new? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> we basically moved into my mom's. Let me show you. So Ollie still won't leave that bag alone. He will not leave the kitchen. I know it's not time for your dinner. Okay, so. This is our room. We're staying in my mom's guest room. Super fun. Sawyer has monies. <laughs> and watch out, Oliver. Don't forget to show him my desk, my area. I will show him. Okay. I'll show you the desk in a minute. And then in here is our storage room, pretty much. Sawyer and I are trying to only take these two on the plane. So we have a pile of stuff to ship to Karen's, which I actually need to pack up here in a minute. And then I have a box over there of things that need to be sold. 
but yeah, this is kind of what we've been functioning out of. And Sawyer wants me to show you his desk area. This is his portable desk. <laughs> this is where he games and he can either be in that corner or right here, which he really likes because it's by the TV. Leave me alone, you can't have any more. Not now, you gotta wait. Okay, so that's kind of the uh, living situation update. We're just totally imposing on my mother. So sorry, mom. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, Sawyer went to go run an errand. I'm gonna jump in the shower and finally rinse off that doubles from F45 because I was sweaty and hot and gross. So I'm gonna close this door and I'll see you guys in a second once I get out of the shower. Gotta love Sunday, somebody. Mm. Okay, I'm now dressed and ready for a very lazy Sunday. In fact, it's already like three o'clock, so we're not doing much more. But I have ordered some really, really cute matching sweatsuits, which, oh. hi Ollie, um, which I probably didn't need to do because I already have quite the, quite the collection, but you know, I pretty much live in them, so why not? Anyways, um, the first one that I ordered, oh, so I'm gonna do a little, try on haul. So the first matching little sweatsuit is this cute one from Daily Drills. I have been eyeing this since I saw it on my best friend Mika and I was like obsessed. I was like, I need this. This baby pink is like so me. So we have the oversized shorts and they have the little tag on the back, which is cute, but they're like perfectly oversized. Now the sweatshirt, I ordered a extra small small and it is like super oversized like if i were to look at this i would think it's almost like an extra large like do not size up is what i can say here but i'll throw it on for you i just thought this was so cute and cozy this is like so oversized i need to wash it and dry it because this is literally like straight out of the package but i am obsessed with the color and it is so cozy it's like everything you want in an oversized uh sweatsuit ah. and the shorts are like right up my alley so Obviously I'm a fan. All right, now the next sweat outfit is from Elwood. Now I have shared their stuff many, many, many times and I'm obsessed. I have almost every color that they come out with um, <laughs> and they just launched their seasonal core summer collection or spring. Regardless, it's really cute. It's like pastel pink and like a vintage, I should say, it's a vintage pink, vintage yellow, and a few other colors. But we have the vintage pink here. Now for sizing, I ordered an extra small in the shorts and sweatpants, and then a small in the hoodie and the crew neck. Let me try it on here. Now, these are like my go-to sweatsuits. I wear these all the time and I always get compliments on them because they're like perfectly oversized and I always wear the shorts with like an oversized button down and like a cute pair of sneakers and I just I just love it. I think what they do is awesome. Um, I'm kind of biased because my friend Mika who I just mentioned her husband owns the company and I've been a big fan for a long time. Really love everything Jackson creates. It's just pure gold. So my point is you should own a set if you do not, but this is the vintage pink. I also have the hoodie right here, super cute over bikers and the sweatpants. And I pretty much have every color in these as well. You cannot go wrong, but we are not done. Like I said, the spring collection just came out. So this is the pink. And then I have the vintage royal, which is like a royal blue, but everything they do has like a vintage vibe to it. So um, it's kind of faded, which I like. So we have the crew neck in that and the small again. I am good. I'm matching sweatsuits. I'm watching Sawyer look over at me like, <laughs> my mom might kill me because <laughs> I'm filming. She loves to catch me when I don't put makeup on. I, I give you a warning that I was filming on Sunday. But you didn't say I was going to be in it. But you live here. I live here. <laughs> you live here. Yes, I do. <laughs> Speaking of that, uh, a lot of you guys have asked since the day we started moving and I even did like a little Q&A um, to answer some questions at the end of this video and the number one question everyone was so concerned about not oh why are you leaving Hawaii they were worried about what is your mom gonna do where is your mom going is she staying in Hawaii how yeah so many questions about my mom so mom do you wanna wanna tell them well well, I'm leaving Hawaii. Okay. 
don't have a house to go to yet. <laughs> but this house did sell. Yep. So. So my mom's about to be homeless as well. Yep. So not only are Sawyer and I homeless, but my mom is about to be homeless. So we'll um, all be homeless together. Yeah. Fun. Good times. No, but really. Um, yeah, she just sold her house. Once we moved in, she's like, well, I'm going to put my house on the market and just see. Well, um, we're, hers is still in the works. So same thing. We're not, you know, we're waiting. Dot the T. Dot the I's, cross the T's. But um, she, this is why she's cutting stuff and has a list of things to sell. Oops, sorry, really. A list of things to sell, but. And that I've sold and what's going, what's not going. So she's in the beginning process. Yeah. Like this literally just happened like, I don't know, like four days ago. But literally Wednesday, she walked the, through the house and here in. we are Sunday. And yeah. Birdie had a home inspection and. The ball's rolling. So very yeah. Very fast. We're like, whoa, hold on. We were supposed to, yeah. Neat. The point to all this is <laughs> my mom sold her house or is in the process of selling her house. And so now we're going to do the same thing here that we did. So remember when I said a few minutes ago or at the beginning of this vlog is like, wow, it was so hectic. And I finally get to calm down and edit some videos. Well, we get to do it all over again for my mom. Fun. Yeah. But this, time it's, this time it's you. Now you get to be the stressed one. I get to be like, do you want this item? Huh. Or do you want this? I'm going to have the water bottle like <laughs> I do with the dogs. <laughs> the roles are about to be reversed. We're about to go through her house and collect a pile of decor because the buyer wants to see what's for sale and she also has another lady coming over to look at all the items. So That just moved here from Utah, ironically. Yeah. And so she needs to furnish her house. But it, you probably would have been wondering, like, why the heck is she collecting a pile of decor? So I thought we had to kind of share update you a little bit so that's honestly the there real you have it. and thank you everyone for being concerned <laughs> <laughs> they were so like literally i was like wow people really care about they're like you're so close with your mom what are you gonna do but i told her no more vacations where i get a phone call saying um so we're moving yeah she's like no more but anyways that's the update she doesn't know where she's going but she sold her house so let's go through her decor <laughs> okay sorry um well i've got a little hectic for a second. There was a lady coming over to look at everything that my mom had listed. Um, and so we quickly set everything out and I forgot to film it, but we are starting to create piles of things that are not going with my mom. And my mom has already sold like all of her furniture. And so that's really exciting and nice knowing that you don't have to pack it and move it. So let the packing process for my mom begin. Yay, let's do it again. <laughs> Okay, so on my to-do list today is to pack a few boxes to send to Karen. We are going to try to travel with the least amount of stuff as possible since we have Ollie. We have to pick up the truck in LA and it's a whole thing. So I'm gonna load up a few boxes so I can get these shipped out to Karen because the more I do now, the easier it'll be as we get closer to actually moving off the island. So um, I've been collecting a pile of stuff of things that we aren't needing and that needs to be mailed. So. Let's fill these boxes and get these mailed off. As promised in this update day in our life, living at my mother's, I wanted to answer a few questions. Thank you for the kisses. Um, I, last night on Instagram, put a little box up and just said, ask us some life questions. Literally, just gonna pick a few and... Nothing uh, better than life questions yeah. on a Sunday. <laughs> Nothing better. All right, are you guys moved into your Florida? Let me try that again. Florida. Florida. <laughs> are you guys moved into your Florida home yet? No, we're your mother's. You just said that. I did, I know, I know, but they don't know. That's uh, yes. No, we're but not. What, what do we do tomorrow? We close on our house. We officially close on our house in Florida tomorrow. So tomorrow we won't be homeless. Today we are. Yeah. Yeah. That's exciting. Oh, what a day can be. Yeah. So a lot of you guys asked for the update on my mom. I kind of already did that. Was your mom upset that you moved? Did you just move to Hawaii? No. You're she, pretty excited. <laughs> my mom was so excited. I don't know if I kind of mentioned this to you guys already, but my mom liked it here. She loves Hawaii, but she loved living on the mainland. Um, I think she was pretty much, she won't like admit it to me, but I pretty think, I pretty much think she was only staying on island like for us 
and like for when we had kids, but. <laughs> and once you get here, it's not the easiest place to leave. Yeah, so I think everyone's really excited that we can all be in like one location. And my mom's gonna check out Vero, like I mentioned, but um, I think we'll all end up pretty close to each other. So I think grandmas will be happy. Future grandmas. I'm gonna miss Hawaii. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna miss Hawaii. Um, let's see. What are you guys most excited for and nervous about when settling into Florida? Congrats, by you the way. You go first. I am most excited about our house. I'm this this home. Honestly, I walked in and it just seemed so inspiring. I know that sounds cheesy as I'll get out, but I love a good home, and I'm very excited to make it like our home and just kind of nest in it. So I'm very excited about that. I'm also excited about Disney World and like just some of the other things that are available in Florida. Yeah, not there's to a mention, lot to do. Not to mention the Bahamas and um, all of that area is super close, so to explore different places. What I'm most nervous about is I've only been there twice for like a week at a time. So there's that. What about you, baby? I think I'm most excited to be close to family. Um, that's honestly why I'm choosing to move because I, for one, love Hawaii. Yeah. Um, but I'm also excited to build a man cave, a new man cave, and this one's gonna have a movie theater in it. Um, uh, there'll, oh, be a, I don't, I don't, oh. there'll be a lot of those videos, so yeah, uh, I'm taking yet. the garage yeah, and I'm uh, making it into a full blown man cave. No, all my camera gear will be in the inside office, but uh, yeah, full blown man cave, movie theater, yeah. wet bar, everything. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Mo motorcycles gonna be in there. Do you wanna tell Mark? It's gonna be though? incredible. Yeah, she gets to decorate the house however she wants. Yeah, the deal was, if he gets the garage, I get to decorate the house however I want. And I was like, you know what? This is like marriage 101. Pick your battles. And yep. that is a great deal. It's a win-win. It Especially because I was going to let you do it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a great win-win. Um, most nervous about? Well, it's it's my hometown. Yeah. Anyone, I, I, I haven't lived there since I was a kid. Okay. Um, so kind of, I don't know. It, it, it feels strange. Yeah. I can imagine. I don't I've know. never, I never in my wildest dreams would have thought that I would get to be 30 and choose to live in my hometown. I, you explained it perfectly the other day. Like, he's not, I? huh? Did I? You did. Well, he was saying, he's like, I don't know why I'm not like, he's excited, but not like, oh my gosh, over the moon. Well, because there's it's no not, like, unknown excitement factor. Yeah, like for me, I've never been there. It's exciting, it's new. For him, he's going back home. So <laughs> like, like, I, was I know this place yeah. inside mm -hmm. now. But I'm business. also excited for my friends. Yeah. Like to have high school friends around me again is a pretty cool feeling. That. Yeah, They're really nice. So, are you gonna do more gardening videos this year? Yes, we have a whole plan to like build on our backyard and build a garden and stuff. So there's a planting season in Florida, though. Oh, you yeah. can't just plant all year long. So uh, the garden videos, I'm not Maybe sure how that'll spring. work. Yeah, we might have to wait. We'll get settled in and kind of plan out our backyard. Like we want to live there and kind of like see what we need and want. Uh, we know we want to do a garden and do like fruit trees. So we'll get to that. But yeah, it's not like a rainforest. Yeah. Things don't just grow. Would you ever move back to Hawaii later in life? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We like legitimately love it here. Is Ollie gonna be in your wedding? Um. Yeah, sure. If you make it that long. Yeah. He'll probably lick and jump on our legs. Yeah, it he, might be a whole it thing. It might be a whole thing. But you can, you can definitely watch from a private room. <laughs> Isn't that right? From a private room. <laughs> Have you picked a season for your wedding? Fall, winter, spring, or summer? Um. I'm kind of thinking a winter or a spring one because Florida is really hot. When is spring? Like February ish to April. Okay, that's good. You still want during hurricane season. Fair. Yeah. When's hurricane season? Um, I gotta learn all these Florida from things. like, well, I mean, you guys, I don't know. I haven't lived there in 15 years. I think it's like from June to November. Oh, okay. June through November 1st. That nice. Was a great guess. You did live there. It wasn't a guess. I lived there, but I just didn't remember. <laughs> okay, so we'll keep that in mind when picking. All right, let's do like two more. Okay. Two um, more. Two more. Oh, what is a memory you will cherish from your time living in Hawaii? Ugh, Everything. So, so many. Yeah, I, this is it's, entire. It's been like three years of a vacation with our dogs and with Hitch. Like I, all in one, it's pretty cool. Honestly, like buying our first house, building a garden, and having the dogs come out there every day and wanting snap peas and strawberries. That was probably like the sweetest little memory of just. I loved that with them. 
and just everything, honestly, everything about yeah. it. <laughs> it's a great place. Yeah. Honestly, I'll still come back here at least once or twice a year. I absolutely love it. I just, I mean, yeah. we're, we're gonna make a whole video on it, but like, if you, it's hard to have or build a big career here. Yeah, it's, it's so it's like a come back. That. I'll come back. That's a whole different video. I just give me a couple more years and I'll come back. Um, I'm trying to find one last good one. You'll when know. When are you gonna have kids? You'll know when we'll we have kids. Definitely let you know. Yeah. When we know, grand you'll know. Thumbnail. Grand. Um, okay, one last one. Oh, a lot of questions. I guess we'll just kind of like in on this. <laughs> a lot of questions about like where you're getting married and just like random update things. Florida. Um, yeah, I think we we've landed on Florida. We it's have some. Easy. We have some really cute ideas for that. Yeah. Um, and we'll update. We're still we're we're finding a wedding planner and figuring out. Actually, I think I found one. But the point is, you will keep you updated on the wedding stuff. Um, but if you have any questions about like the move or why, there's a thousand questions on why are you moving to Florida. We did an announcement video where we literally explained about 20 minutes of why yeah. we're moving to Florida. There's a lot of perks. There's a lot of perks. But a lot of perks. To answer your question is, <laughs> I will put the video down below because you can literally get all the information. But the biggest thing is, honestly, his family and we found a house that we really enjoyed and everything. Everything. There's Cost of living, location, people. But yeah, so that's pretty much the update, people. Um, yeah, so I want to thank you guys for watching a day in our life and for just kind of like seeing what our day looks like now that we're kind of homeless and living at my mom's. It's and not bad. No, it's not bad. It's not bad. We've been going to F45 every morning. I did and have to watch um, Sweet Home Alabama today. Yeah, you, you that mentioned that. <laughs> did I? <laughs> you did. Still. But no, it's been it's been fun. Um, it'll be nice to kind of help my mom pack up her stuff. Um, she helped us a ton, so we'll help her. But. That's that's pretty much it. That's what a day in our life looks like. And it's pretty fun. Yeah, it's yeah. And um, I am also going to link that Sundays for Dogs down below, so that way if you guys are wanting to spoil your puppies as well. He keeps bugging us because he knows they're on the counter. Yeah, it's been ridiculous all day. So <laughs> feel free to use that Angelique 30 for 30 percent off of your purchase and free shipping. And that wind chime is going crazy. <laughs> but anyways. That is it. Thank you for watching. And let's we, do it all over again. Yeah. We'll be back next week or in a few days with another packing video. And I think that's it. That's it. So that's it. That's it. We love you guys. Bye. <laughs>